I am now at Mutinondo Wilderness Campsite. Uh, for those of you who have seen my video about the lodge, uh, they have a lodge. They also have a, a lovely campsite with uh, all the amenities that you would uh, would require, except for power. Power is not, uh, not provided on the campsite itself. Uh, the campsites are clustered around the central ablution area. There are two shower blocks, two times four showers. Uh, there are several individual toilet blocks. Uh, they're all equipped with a, a long drop toilet, so no flushing toilets, but long drop. Uh, but don't be afraid, they don't smell at all, so that's a good thing. Uh, the campsite itself is provided with a braai and uh, a small kitchen block, which you see behind me. And for the rest, you know, it's just peace and quiet here. There are lots of trees, uh, it's very green. Uh, there are some monkeys around, some baboons in the area, so be careful what you do with your uh, with your food uh, supplies and, uh, and, uh, and rubbish. Um, they have a no rubbish policy here, which means that you have to take your rubbish back home with you. Um, if you want, you can uh, uh, join dinner at the lodge itself for a very reasonable price. The same goes for, for lunch or for, uh, for breakfast. Uh, that's all possible, you just have to give them uh, approximately a day, half a day notice so they can actually take it into consideration and make sure that they have enough food uh, uh, that they can prepare for, uh, for you. Uh, but of course you can uh, prepare your own food at the campsite itself. So, um, well, let me just show you around. I think that's all I needed to say for now. I'll just show you around, show you the, 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 the shower blocks, the, the, the toilet, uh, uh, the washing up area, the dishwashing uh, area. Uh, um, uh, yeah, hang on. Oh yeah, so this is uh, one of the typical campsites. It's campsite number seven. It's uh, provided with a shade area with a table and a bench. Where you can sit on there's a kitchen area behind it with a braai firewood is provided it's all included in the price which uh, which is always nice uh, at a campsite and there's enough firewood i'm sure if they would ask if you would ask them they would uh, they would light the fire for you and uh, as i mentioned the the camps are all clustered around the ablution area there are a number of toilet blocks i think there are about six or so uh, they're all long drop toilets but they managed to do it in such a way that you uh, totally don't smell it. Uh, I've had different, but uh, this, is, uh, this is very well done. This is very well done. So I'll just show you one of the toilet blocks. Uh, toilet buildings, I, was, <laughs> I mean. And, uh, well, you can judge for yourself. It's always clean. They clean it, I think, at least once a day. Bang. And there is your throne where you can sit on. I will not show you the inside. I don't even think you can see it. Toilet paper is provided. Uh, so yeah, typical long drop toilet. Nothing fancy, but it does the job perfectly. So then there are a couple of shower buildings, two with each four individual showers they are heated by uh, as you can see a solar heater and depending on the number of guests and the uh, amount of sun they also will light the donkey for you to make sure you have uh, ample of, uh, of hot water so uh, i think it's nicely done uh, inside this is a building with uh, with four showers as you can see one two three and number four uh, this is uh, one of the showers with uh, hot and cold water, obviously. And there is a, a place where you can store your shower gel. There is a small bench where you can put your clothes. There is a, a solar light, so you can also shower when it's dark. You don't have to always do it during the sunny hours. And, uh, and the amount of water, the water pressure is really good. So that's uh, very enjoyable. A little bit further on, around the building, you walk towards the area where you can do your uh, makeup, you can brush your teeth, you can uh, shave, you can do whatever you want. Again, hot and cold water, always nice. Four of these. And even a little bit further on, there is the dishwashing area. With, again, also something you don't see everywhere, hot and cold water. And that's uh, always a very nice thing. 
so you can actually wash your clothes or you wash your dishes with uh, with warm water so yeah this is the uh, Mutinundu wilderness camp it's uh, situated in the middle of the wilderness area itself they call it the wilderness uh, it's uh, it is wild uh, lots of mountains enormous amount of hiking and, uh, and bicycle trails uh, it's perfectly safe to walk here there are no predators there are no hippos there are no crocs lions leopards or anything like that uh, you can just walk on the paths freely without having to worry about your safety. It's uh, it's really a nice place to stay for at least two or three day days, uh, so you can uh, you can actually enjoy the surrounding area, the Mutinondo Wilderness Area. I hope this preview was useful for you. If you want to know more about self drives in Botswana or Zambia, feel free to visit us at www.cocellosafaris.com. We are the self drive specialist for Botswana and Zambia. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to get regular updates. See you next time.